Hey there, home theater fans. I'm Todd Anderson with avnirvana.com, and we're here live at CES 2023, believe it or not, new year. And we are hanging out with Dirac and Storm Audio with a really exciting new launch. This is active room treatment. This is something that a lot of people have been talking about, speculating about, I should say, for a couple months. Um, but it's finally here, and I just got a demo on this ridiculously cool system, Perlis and Audio, along with some Storm Gear and Kaleidoscape, and it sounds really phenomenal. So, uh, Nilo, I, you know, you and I talked about a month ago. Um, let me, can you just kind of fill us in on what ART is? That's the active room treatment. Yeah, sure, Tom. Uh, so, uh, it takes uh, digital room correction, another step forward. Uh, it's, um, we call it active room treatment, and the reason we call it active room treatment is that we're using the speakers that you have in your system to address and cancel out room reflections, uh, room modes, and so on. So, basically playing um, anti-sound from speakers at, at the same time as they're playing the, the desired sound and the the point with that is to uh, handle like the the late effects that the room causes to your audio so you get a more clear more distinct bass um, more control in the bass you get less of this um, well um, lingering bass in the room mm -hmm. And this is a technology that is used on top of direct live and bass control, correct? Yes, it's correct. It is. So uh, bass control lets you uh, integrate the subwoofers and uh, room correction. It does the, the, the impulse response correction for, for the speakers. And active room treatment is opening up for all the other speakers to, to contribute as well. So join the, 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 the surround speakers and the sense speaker will join the subwoofers in creating a good bass response. Okay, and this is not new technology to direct. This is something that you've used in car environments, True. which yes. are, uh, the deployments of speakers are known, correct? So yep. that's made it a little easier, I guess, in some regards. Not that this is easy at all, but um, that's an environment that's more controlled than a home theater environment. So how does that affect how it's deployed uh, in a home theater? Uh, really good question. So in, in, a, in a car, you can say, as you said, um, the, the speaker positions and the seating positions are known uh, beforehand. So you can really go way more aggressively with this kind of technology. But in a home setting, you're uh, doing the measurements yourself. You're using a, 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 a single microphone. Um, you cannot measure as, as densely as you uh, would do in a car, for example. Mm -hmm. So uh, that that means that we we have uh, decided to uh, uh, limit the the, uh, the scope of what active room treatment is doing to to handle the reverberation of the room, to to handle the the reflections and and the room modes, and uh, well, not try to do the more exotic things that we're doing in car uh, audio. Sure. Yeah. And when you say limit. That uh, I think earlier you mentioned it's up to 150 yeah. hertz currently, but earlier we had talked about up to maybe 300 hertz. Is that something that will? Yeah, eventually it, it will evolve uh, upwards. Uh, we'll see how. We think we start a bit on the safe side to um, because when you start doing things uh, higher frequency, you, you have the perception of where the sound is coming from is is more uh, uh, well, it's more obvious than. Uh, so, so we don't really know exactly where to put that limit, uh, especially in a home theater uh, where it's not us doing the tuning, it's basically anyone sure. doing the tuning, yes. Sure, okay, a couple more questions and Matt, I want to get to you. No problem. Um, in term, a, a lot of people have been speculating about when this will become available. We know now that it's exclusive to Storm Audio products beginning in spring and then probably around Q4 of this year will open up to other brands. Yes. Um, you know, in terms of the 
kind of legacy equipment that will be able to run this. Is there any limit on that? If it, if it can run direct live, does that mean it can also run this? Uh, good question, that too. Uh, so this adds like, I think about 20% on top of what Direct Live is doing at, at the moment. Uh, we're implementing it in a quite effective, efficient uh, filter structure. So uh, it, it, it's a quite different approach to how we do the filtering with Direct Live group correction, but it, it utilizes the same resource in a more efficient way for this purpose. So. Uh, yeah, this this means that you are running many more filters mm -hmm. in, in in parallel, um, and in order to do that, you need to be uh, a bit more uh, wise in how how you do it on a DSP. So, but if someone's uh, legacy gear, let's say if you own a uh, something manufactured by Ankyo, say that yeah. is running Direct Live, if that eventually, if this art eventually comes onto that platform. Mm -hmm. Would a piece of equipment uh, manufacturer last year that's running Direct Live be able to handle? Yeah, yeah. so uh, the technical aspect is uh, probably, yes, it would, be, it would be technically possible, but okay. then it's, a, of course, a commercial sure. question whether it's done or not. Sure. Yeah. Okay. And Matt, you have had some hands on time with this uh, for, I'm assuming, a couple months, maybe longer, who knows? <laughs> But uh, let us know your experience. You were just telling me that you know this has created an audio experience in your own home theater, or something like you've never heard, and you were comparing it to systems that cost a lot of money. Um, yeah, it's uh, so the ability and the technology and what it can do for your space is really significant and substantial as far as an upgrade in the industry. Um, so, you know, one of the things we were talking about that you asked me is, you know, how does this compare in a room that has no treatment to a room that has some treatment aspects done to it already? Um, and, you know, to reiterate my comment, uh, in my opinion, it's really bringing those two things into the realm of being comparable for the first time, whereas they weren't before, mm -hmm. even with room correction. Um, the other thing that's you know really massive about this is the even response that you get throughout the listening area and what's smooth because even before with base correction you know you could still have a little bit of variation uh, and this is just such a significant step forward in that aspect um, right which is something I experienced right here in this room right walking around to various areas the, the sound stage really held held intact yeah well. the the control aspect of it is is absolutely fantastic yeah um and it's to a point where it might even be disorienting because it might be a new level of control for some people um as far as a room size thing it's it's really impactful uh i have a very small space at home like i said my space is probably a quarter to a third of the size of the room that we're in and you know when deployed properly it can be extremely impactful and i've had you know during beta testing for this, I've had better experiences in, in my personal home theater than in some really, really nice rooms that I've been in, so. That's awesome, and when you say impactful, so my, my personal experience of what I just heard was when art was engaged, the soundstage appeared to open up and the bass, it tightened. It was still impactful, but it tightened. And then when we heard some clips without art, it just, I mean, the bass sounded, Hard hitting, but it was also kind of, I guess you'd say, boomy. The sound stage also kind of seemed to collapse down. Is that, I mean, how would you describe so, your experience with it? So, what you're touching on is one of my favorite pieces about this technology. And in my opinion, what it is, is it's really the next evolution in base management, right? Because beforehand, you know, if we look at generation one of base management, you had a subwoofer, maybe a couple subwoofers that you were sending all of your speaker groups to at a certain frequency point. Then you kind of got into the next evolution of 3D audio, which is, you know, maybe we'll send the, you know, this to that subgroup, this channel to that subgroup, et cetera. This takes it so much further because you're actually retaining, you know, some of the original 3D audio positioning because instead now of saying this channel is going to send, you know, 80 hertz and below to the subwoofer group, this channel is able to do its full range and it's being supported by everything else in the area where it's not being localized by, you know, your, your brain and psychoacoustics. Right. So, you know, as far as base management goes in technology, this is 
really one of the biggest, you know, revolutionary advancements probably in the last few decades. So it's it's pretty incredible. Yeah, it's very incredible. And I know everyone out there is dying to get a hold of this when it does start rolling out. Um, I know with Storm Gear initially, it will launch, uh, start shipping out with products just as part of the product, correct? Yep. Is there an additional charge for for downloads? Uh, so for Storm Audio, how active room treatment's gonna work is any units that are sold from January 1st of 2023 onwards, they will have art already licensed and part of the unit. Uh, any units that were sold, deployed uh, beforehand, it'll be a $299 license fee. Okay. Awesome. And Nilo, yeah. did, is there a chance that we'll see this deployed in different levels of sophistication for different classes of gear? Uh, something that we've seen with Direct Live. Yeah. Um, it, it may happen. Um, I, I don't know exactly how that kind of um, leveling or tiering would That's be. still on the planning yeah, stages. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So in Direct Lab, we have the, the limited up to 500 uh, hertz, mm -hmm. uh, which is within the, the realm of what Active Room is doing. So it would work also with the limited Direct Live in, uh, technology. Okay. Awesome. Well, listen, guys, thank you so much for taking time to chat with us. I know. People are going to be excited to see this uh, this, this video and start getting this information and digesting it. So I appreciate you taking the time to not only demo this equipment, but uh, chat with me today. Always a pleasure. Thank you. All right, folks. That's all I've got for you uh, from Vegas. And we will have more coming up later on.